Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, since a new movie is coming out this weekend, which happens to be Hotel Transylvania 3. Now, I have done a tutorial on Drac from Hotel Transylvania uh, 1 and 2, and now 3. So, if you want to go draw Drac, make sure you go ahead and follow the link right here. Today, I've never taught you guys on how to draw Mavis from Hotel Transylvania, and I just thought since the third movie is coming out, let's go ahead and draw Drac's daughter, Mavis. We're gonna do a full body sketch, so that means we're, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out where her body has to go, and it's pretty easy. Doodle the head up here, and then what you're going to do after that, I'm actually gonna bring her chin just a little bit more over to here. She has a really interesting facial feature or structure. All right, and then we're gonna bring down the neck. So I'm next gonna go down this way, and I'm gonna jump on the other side. So the other side of where I just made off that chin. Bring this down. Then you're gonna round down. Outwards, round this down. Bring down this side. I'm gonna bring, go swoop down. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a circle right here for her arm. And she's got crossed arms in this picture, so that means I'm gonna go to where the elbow point is, bring up that elbow point, and then I'm gonna jump right here. We're gonna cross this down, go into her body, which is back up and to here. And then I'm gonna jump back here, go back, Get to that corner right there. I'm gonna draw a circle right here for now. And then a little bit of a circle right here. Then I'm gonna go back to her body where I'm gonna bring down the side of her stomach. Bring this down. Go over here. Bring down this side. I'm gonna go outwards. Stop here, go ahead and round this downwards, jump back over here, connect to here. So we're just laying everything out right now. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna go ahead and make one thigh here, and then one thigh, make that a little thicker, and then one thigh will be going out and in. So this thigh is going out. Another really long leg going inwards and then this leg will be in front so we're gonna go out and in so this goes in out circle up back into her thigh and then we're gonna make one shoe here go out Round off the bottom there. Go in and make it out a lot more this way. And then we're gonna round off the top of the shoe here. Go in, down, and then the ball of her foot will be right here. Go up, back. And we're just gonna leave it like that for now. She's got really weird looking shoes too. She's a very, like, her and Drac are both very long people. They're very, very long characters. So let's jump to her face and let's give her some facial features and fill everything in with detail. Okay, so starting with Mavis's face, we're gonna go ahead and designate our eye line and our nose line. So we're gonna go right down the middle. Now the thing about Mavis's face, I'm actually gonna bring these up a little bit more. Bring up her eye line a little bit more because she's got a really large chin and a small mouth, small nose, but big eyes. So we're gonna jump up top. We're gonna start with this eye first. We're gonna go out. And this goes up. So you see we have the typical sunflower seed again. I'm gonna jump off to the side, do the exact same thing. 
keep it in that sunflower shape. And this is a three quarter turn, so we're seeing more of this side as opposed to this side. So that's why I brought this eye over a little bit more. Bring it up. So this one's going upwards just a bit, and this one's more. Like it goes up just a little over here. Bring this down. So there are our eyes. I'm gonna make sure they're big, so I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger. Great. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and where I have this line right here, I'm gonna actually put her, her nose. So I'm gonna make that circle. And then for her mouth, it's gonna be really close to her nose. So we want a little bit of space, but still it needs to be pretty close to her nose. So I make a line that looks a little bit like a hill. Go up, make a little bit of a dimple. And I'm gonna go down. Sure, it looks like a bit of a corner. Round out this way. So it's a half smile. So the thing we really want to make sure Mavis has is those first four rounded off teeth. Vampire tooth and a vampire tooth right here. So we have this rounded off. And that way her teeth rows are on top of each other. Let's go ahead and not just knock that out for right now. Let's jump back up to her eyes. I'm gonna make the right eye, pupil iris area over off to the side. Leave a lot of white space over here. And then I'm gonna jump over here. Run this down. shine. Build up the pupil there and she's got bright blue eyes just like Drac. Over here, shine in her eye and the pupil. Now for her around her eye she's got a crazy ton of lashes and then She's got like a smoky eyeshadow look going on, so you can make as many eyelashes as you would like around, and I'm just going to lightly shade around, and it's on the bottom liner, bottom eyelash line all around, just nice and dark. So I'm going to make sure those eyelash lines on top and bottom are super dark and super thick. You can lightly shade. Before we draw her eyebrows, we don't see much of her eyebrows. We see a little bit of this side, but her bangs mostly cover up her eyebrows. So let's jump to her nose for right now. And it's pretty simple, it's very small. So we're gonna go in the middle, we're gonna keep this circle area. Go up, off to the side right here. We're gonna jump over here and give a, a little bit of a nostril over here. Then the nose flap, whatever the nose anatomy guidelines are. <laughs> and I'm actually going to shade this up over here, shade over here, and there we have our nose. That's it. She doesn't really have that much of a nose ridge going on. I don't know, but you know, it's just a character design. Now, for her lips, she has black lipstick on. It's almost a permanent thing, so it might just be a skin tone thing going on. So I'm just going to lightly, we already made her mouth and her teeth. I'm going to like, she doesn't have that thick of lips just a little bit, so I'm gonna just lightly shade the bottom lip and the top lip. There isn't that much of a dip in the lips either, you just wanna shade around it. It's not too thick, not too thin. We just have that good idea of a dark lipstick thing going on. And make sure she has that dimple. Let's shape up her face just a little bit more. I'm going to make 
this side of her face a little bit more flat on this side. So you're gonna make it a little bit flatter. Um, we still wanna bring out the cheeks. Bring down, that chin should be pointy just because she's Drac's daughter, so she has a pointy chin. And I'm gonna bring up this side. I wanna keep this overall shape. And this is going to be a little bit more flat. Now we can go ahead and ha add her hair. Her bangs go right in the middle of her forehead, in between her eyes. So we're gonna bring her bangs to there. And it's in sections, so I'm gonna go make that section part go up, round it up, round this down. So we have that section there. And then I'm gonna jump on this side, bring out this section, go in towards her head, and then out with her haircut going to go out and then it, it's actually going to go in so I just started from her head I went out this way and then another section we're going to bring out this side bring it down inwards so her hair swoops out like it did on the other side swoopy out and then goes in and it's kind of choppy. It doesn't really like line up. This side's like a little bit longer than this side. And another thing is we have to make her ear, but she has a huge section of hair that's right here. So I'm just going to start from here, go up. And there's another section of hair. And then her ear is all the way out here. So I just made her ear. Now she's got this thing on top of her hair where she's got like, I don't know what they're called. It's not a cowlick. It's just couple strands up here, goes up this way, and into her hair, just a couple, I don't know, it's like a bad haircut feature, I don't know. And then I can go ahead and start, like, evening everything out, making it flow together. But ultimately, when you're shading her hair, you want the sections of her hair to have kind of, like, it's dark on top and shiny in the middle, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that so you know what to do with her hair. Now that we have her hair, we can go ahead and add her eyebrows. So one eyebrow is tucked behind her bangs right there. And another one is tucked over here. It's just simple little lines. As long as she's got eyebrows, eyebrows are important. Now let's get to her outfit. Now it's really easy because this is all black. <laughs> and her arms are all black. So honestly, you're not doing that much. Let's just go ahead and shape up her chest a little bit more. Because what's going on over here is we have a little bit of her shoulder. So I'm gonna go out with her shoulder and down. And then her chest is gonna go out and back in. But there's not that much detail going on with her black dress. It's really simple. Now I'm gonna jump from right here. Make sure this is nice and long. Bring this out, round this a little bit more. Just making it not as round. We're gonna bring down her arm. We're gonna bring this in. We're gonna round off this top of the sleeve first. And she does have gloves going on. We don't really see that just when you're coloring it. This is all black and this is a little bit gray with some skin tone just because she's wearing see-through gloves that are completely, they're like forearm length. They might go all the way up here actually. So I'm gonna bring down this side of her arm. And then this side of her arm is gonna go in. Then we're gonna jump from right here and go to her hand right here and this is where we're going to see her gloves. So we're gonna bring up one, two, three, four, and round the pinky in towards the fist. And we're gonna give this side of the pinky here. Bring out this side. And then her glove finger link goes in between her pointer finger and her middle finger. Round this down. And then we're going to bring down this side of her arm. Round it in a little bit more. Round. So we're going to go actually go in a little bit more with that. Didn't mean to do that. And then we're going to round this up. Go in. And this part is going to go 
in, make more of a little crook in her arm. And then we're not seeing this much of this hand either. We're just gonna bring out one pinky. So it's gonna go out. So we bring out that fist, and that's all we can see is that pinky right there. And like the rest of her hand is tucked in, so I'm gonna make just one more finger on this side. Just because her hand is hiding over here. But for the rest of her dress, we're gonna go down, out for the bottom, and swoop in a little bit more. The bell bottom of her dress is gonna curve downwards. And I'm actually going to show the other side of the dress. So we have the inside on this side. And then we have a couple of pleats right here. And just a little bit of a pleat right here. Up this side. So I'm gonna make sure I keep all this same area. Now for her legs, we want to go out a little bit more. Bring this one out a little bit more. So this one's gonna go in, jump on the other side, and we're gonna curve outwards for her calf. And it's gonna curve downwards and into her foot. So it's going to go down and in. This one's going to curve out her thigh on this side. Curves in and then this side of her thigh is going to go out and her knee is going to go to more of a point. So from here, let's start at this spot where we see more of a calf. And then this one is going to go in. And there's her calves. Now for her shoes, they kind of like represent that kind of characterization to her converse. But they are converse, so they go, we're going to start with the back one first. Go out. And we're going to round off here. And we're just going to give a little bit of an indication of a sole at the bottom of her shoe. They are red shoes. And this one has a little bit of an indention here. It's going to go back in. And then the bottom, the other shoe is going to go out. And we still have that sole, so I'm going to go ahead and make that bottom sole go out, down, in. And then it's a high top, so I'm going to go up more of a top to that shoe and it doesn't even show laces all it shows is like we have the tongue of the shoe and all I see are lines like this and little holes for the laces and that's all it really is and then for her tights pants leggings whatever they are I think they're leggings they are striped they are red striped and black stripes the red stripes are smaller and the black stripes. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Mavis from Hotel Transylvania. I hope you guys will go with me this weekend. Not go with me, but you know, actually go and see the movie in your local theater of Hotel Transylvania 3. I hope you guys have a most wonderful week and I will see you all on Saturday. 